Well, here we go again. Oh, Mr. Robbie. He's all mad I posted this picture of him smoking drugs 3.30 in the morning with his 12-year-old boy in the background watching on. He said it was okay because somebody shot out the windows of his vehicle and, because this is a school night, I said 3.30 a.m., and somebody shot out the window of his vehicle and he was mad. He wasn't able to go outside and do his drugs. So now he's threatening me. Chuck Sibley gonna love seeing me. And he's like, after a one year protection from harassment from this guy, which it went both ways. I put one on him first and then he put one on me, you know, all that bullshit. Now that the uh, protection for harassment up here, he comes again running his m big mouth. Let me be clear. I don't do drugs. I've never done crystal math. This guy is a complete loser. It's going to find out real soon. And then some, some with this idiot, same with this idiot that I was in jail with, period. I was in there for a drink and disorder, drinking disorder. Nice. Sounds like a real respectful guy. Of course, I have to ask, how many times has he been banned on Facebook for hate speech and whatnot? Quite a few times. You know, this is where he goes off because of my tweaker page post of him smoking that pot. He goes, Robert Carnes, you know it's funny as when people take a video from years ago and make it sound like I w it was yesterday and then in case you need to know, that video is right after a bunch of morons like you in your group there that shut up my windows, not shot, shut up my windows in my vehicle and I was pissed off. I didn't know why you idiots have me on a tweaker page. I've never done crystal meth in my life. I've actually been suspended quitting drugs. I'm sure all of you guys are pounding booze and beating the fuck out of your, each other's behind closed doors, but anyways, I smoke weed. Sue me. And that idiot that posted that just got over a year protection order I had on the idiot, so now I'll just go back to court and get another one on this stupid fuck. You know, it's great how he calls other people's names, but he hates it when you call him a name. Boy, don't he hate it. it. Oh, that's narcissistic people for you. Here he's flipping off three officers. Apparently he's that threatening them with a gun. And then, of course, he's trying to be gangster boy here, you know. It says, fuck you, three officers from Bangor Police Department. And the hell, why not throw in a sergeant, you fake news buddies? <laughs> What the fuck? Fucking funny as shit. But the day I took a protection order out on him was because he pulled, I was pulled in my driveway. He gives me the finger and calls me a faggot. I wait back at him and he called the police and complained I gave him the finger and it hurt his feelings. And the police came and gave me a harassment order, which is okay. Violate my First Amendment right, so... You can sue and get money, but what I don't think he understood on that day that I have a dash cam in my vehicle that goes 24-7. And when he talked to the police officer and made the complaint that that police officer had a body cam on. And that body cam is public information. You just got to request it and pay the money. So, yeah, there's that. <laughs> he don't quite understand. Because here, he's freaking bitching off that I'm filming him. You know, right here, that's me filming him. And just down here, get rid of that. He's giving me the finger back. You know, <laughs> what a goofball. And that's what that other video... I just uploaded was from the park. 
he can film you, but you can't film him kind of deal. You know how that works, right? Of course, some people just crazy freaks. Anyhow, he's not the brightest cucumber in the patch. I'm not saying I'm no freaking whippity snipper, but I don't, you know, the thing is, I got to say, if he doesn't like that shit that he posts, that people, you know, of course people is gonna, he's, you know, he talked about freaking giving a teenager, 14 year old, I got proof of that, you know, where he posted it. Well, she overdosed on his eye concentrated THC. He said, my high... What's this fool want to do? His foolish followers want to try to defend him and say that it was a misprint. Well, I guess it's a good thing he didn't say he murdered somebody because would the cops say that was a misprint? You know, when it comes to that stuff, they don't... Who knows? All the cops around Bangor ain't very really that bright. <laughs> Sorry to say. Uh, where do I end this thing? Just basically, he's a joke. He needs to grow up, needs to get a life. He belongs in jail. The state failed him. They should have taken his kids away because he just uses his kid for the welfare money. He he can't work. How he knows it's to sell drugs? He, he gets a part-time job at the concert, washing dishes, and he, he calls it a full-time job. He's always scanning people. He takes advantage of the homeless and like they're having a hard enough time he 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 uses them or have I haven't followed him for a while he uses them to collect money to put in his pocket oh i'm feeding the homeless but hey i got 850 dollars to go to the kiss concert even though i'm homeless with a 12 year old boy but it's okay because my older son paid for it <laughs> if i was a man if i was a dad which i am he's not I would have said, sorry, son, but if you like, we can use that money to get an apartment for me and your younger brother. <laughs> we know all where that money come from. It come from the people, you know, donate money, which he blocks and he runs that Penobscot scanner page. And if you call him out for what he is, obviously he blocks you and deletes the comments. It's like It doesn't go both ways with this guy, but it never does with a narcissistic person. It's like... Obviously, it's all so obvious why Shannon ran to California just to get away from him. Alrighty, well, I'm definitely going to end this here. I love all you guys. I appreciate you watching my videos, and I'll catch you in the next one. Goodbye.